Other shows out there are always trying to flog your stuff, especially when all you want are some crafty demonstrations. Well, we don't do that here, which means you must be watching The Craft Show. Welcome with open arms. I'm a bit enthusiastic because I love doing the, the craft show and of course this is part two of something that we've already been filming. We're starting on a previous show which is the Japanese doll. We're going to get to that just in a moment but before we do it's my opportunity just to remind you that of course the craft show if you've not seen it before is not available on regular TV. It's not available on satellite or cable. It's only available online via YouTube. Now some people might think that's a negative not many people though, because the beauty of it is you can go back, you can watch shows as often as you like, when it's suitable for you, and that also means we're international. So we know you're out there watching us from the US, you're out watching for Australia, Europe, and of course, old Blighty, where we film it. So please do remember to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when the next episode comes out. However, without further ado, it's time to get on to part two of our Japanese doll, Kim, the Japanese doll. Uh, and we're gonna finish that off with my guest here, Alison Bunning! <laughs> Down with the kids. Mm. Well, we always do the Are kiss sure? and the hug thing, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. So we thought we'd do something yeah. a bit more modern Change today. It up, yeah. Mix it up a bit. Mm. Should we stick with that? I think no. I definitely think we should. It's rubbish, isn't it? We'll go back to the hug <laughs> yeah. and the kiss. Yeah, definitely. Alison yeah. Bunny. I'm definitely not down with the kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Alison, <laughs> dear. Oh, we're in a good mood, aren't we? Yeah. So we are. Alison, we're, what are we doing? We're doing the we're doing the Japanese doll, mm -hmm. and we nicknamed her Kim, didn't we? We did. Do you remember why? Because she's inspired by a little. Um, wooden figurine yeah. um, called a Kimmy doll. Kimmy doll. Um, and I saw these little figurines and they have a little uh, little slot underneath with a, a sentiment in. And I really liked them. I thought they were really cute. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm smiling. I just, you, you know, they've got a cavity. <laughs> yeah. Like your teeth. Anyway, I so we did the Kimmy doll. And um, how far did we get last time? Let's have a look. We well, I've I've just just finished her off. Mm -hmm. with, with, um, Let's have a look. Let's do a comparison. Attached look. with, uh, covered her head, a mm -hmm. little bit of uh, flesh colour on her body, mm -hmm. and um, started putting her her dress, dress on. on. Yeah. I've just finished that off and attached her head properly mm -hmm. so that we can move on to the next So stage. we're going to move on so to the next stage. So if you missed the first bit, we've made some shapes, we've uh, needle felted those, put them together, done a bit of flesh colour, mm -hmm. attached the head with the loose bits, done yeah. the dress. It just, watch the other show. Yeah, watch the first and one. And then you'll definitely. know and where we're up to. You'll get and we're going to finish her off and we're going to get to the station. Don't forget, if you like Kimmy Doll, mm -hmm. Kim, uh, Kim, you can, of course, be in with a shout of getting Kim by going onto our Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash the craft show TV share the page mm -hmm. and we will pick somebody and one of our lucky viewers will receive um, Kim from Kim. Allison at the craft centre in Bourne don't forget to check that out as well websites on the screen have a look have a look okay let's get crafting okay so um, the next stage uh, will be to um, put we can, it doesn't really matter what, what order you do these in. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. It's however you feel. But um, Once you've got to this stage, you mean? Once you've got to this stage, mm. you can either put her hair and her face on next, mm -hmm. or you could uh, put her belt and the, the edging to her dress on next. Mm -hmm. They, The belt and the edging to her dress must go on before you put her coat on. Of course. So that you can hide the edges yes. under the coat, mm -hmm. which we're going to layer over the top. Mm -hmm. So... They're the next parts to do on her body, mm -hmm. but you could do her hair first. I would probably be doing the edging okay, let's first. Do, do you know why? Why? Well, because I'd, it'd feel a bit voodoo <laughs> if I put a face on yeah. and then I'm going like that. Yeah. 
You have to get over that. I know. Yeah. I'd probably put the face on last. Stabbing things. Unless it was somebody I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> and we yeah. said as well, actually, you can make these, voodoo aside, Yeah. <laughs> you can make these to look like people if yeah. you wanted to give them as a gift or that sort of thing. You might have uh, a friend or a member of family that's in the military, yeah. uh, that is uh, in the fire department, that's uh, a police a policeman, policewoman, a uh, doctor, nurse. Yeah, definitely. You know, pirate. Yeah. <laughs> and you could do them, can you? Yeah, are there many pirates about? No. No. Anyway. Pro no, probably not. I know, I know of one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not too far from here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put the little um, belt and um, sh uh, uh, V on her dress. Yep. Again. We'll do the V first so that we can put the belt over the top so mm -hmm. you don't see the joints. Great, let's go. So, uh, we discussed this in the last show. It's called roving. It's the best uh, fibre to use for making a, a nice straight line. Mm -hmm. Because the other ones are carded, you'll struggle to get a nice crisp edge. And that means that the fibres are in all different directions on the, on the carded one. All randomly um, aligned. But so on the other one, just remind me the name. Roving. The roving one, yeah. they're all straight fibres. They are, so they to are. get that sharp edge. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to pull um, a little bit off lengthwise. Mm -hmm. So a, 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 a strip. Gently pull it down and then just pull a piece off. Mm. Like that. So you have a, 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 a piece off the main part. Okay. Um, you might need to take a little bit extra off if you've got this a bit too thick it's too wide you can just pull a little bit extra off the edge mm -hmm. like so thin it down and then just break this in half it's amazing really that something side. that you can pull apart so easily at this stage is almost impossible to pull apart at this stage yeah. isn't it yeah really really firms up yeah, it does so we're going to lay this over the v part of her dress like so hold it with one hand just hold it down and then um, attach it with your needle now to get a nice straight line you can gently move this edge in with your needle you want a reasonably firm needle for this I think this is a 36 so this is quite a quite a sturdy needle could you use your multi-needle for that, or is that not recommended? I wouldn't, because you'll find that it will push the fibres apart, so okay. you won't get a nice crisp edge. Single just, needle's the way to go. I would, yeah. Um, you can just sort of gently drag the needle down the fibres, so you can l get them into a nice straight line. It's amazing how you can them. shape that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just using the needle. Teasing it in. Yeah, exactly. So we're just going to run that down either side you could do angels yeah you could do angels yeah couldn't you if you've got some um, could you do? angelina fibers which are uh, a, a heat fusible fiber okay they look a bit like um, sh tinsel Okay. Shreds. Right. So if you oh, strip yes. tinsel off a off a strip of tinsel and yes. add the little shreds. Yes. They look a bit like that. Okay. And you put them in between two pieces of um greaseproof paper. Okay. And iron them on a low Oh um, and they fuse heat, together. And they stick together. And it makes like a iridescent film. Like a like a a, a You carry on. Like cellophane. But I was thinking like a mesh. Yeah. Do you get like a mesh effect? No, it's not. It, oh. It's actually pretty much... Solid? Uh, yeah. Is it? Or, or, you could use like, that to make the wings. You could, and then you can cut it out, iron it, cut it out, and then you can just uh, glue it on the back. So I like it. Wings. Yeah, we've done, I like it a lot. We've done fairies with Angelina wings before. With Angelina wings? Yeah. So I'm going to do the other side. Again, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... It's difficult for me to hold it in one hand and show you what I'm doing at the same time. I'm not going to do the whole lot because it's you get the idea. You do. And do you know what? Because we were talking about um, fibres and that kind of thing, I wanted to show you because we often get sent in pictures. Keep sending those pictures in, post them to the Facebook page. We've been sent in this. Have a look at this. This is by Jeanette McKnight, and this is a digitised machine embroidery stained glass panel 
for a quilt. And what's amazing about that is you can scan a picture in and it will essentially embroider that image um, onto material or whatever. And in this case, she's made a stained glass window panel, which is really amazing. Look at that. And she it's a panel to go into her quilt. What do you reckon to that then? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. What she's done there. Yeah. And then we've had another picture in from Shirley Young. Um, hi, Shirley, if you're watching. And hi to Jeanette as well. Yeah. Don't forget you. Um, and she's, she posted this uh, this thank you card on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for that, Shirley. We really like that. And we don't get nearly enough card makers sending in pictures, so please do keep posting your pictures on there. And we have one more from Deborah Wainwright. And she's done this beautiful artistic drawing, painting, I don't know what you'd call it, of a lady. It reminds me a little bit of the Scream painting in terms of the style, the style she's created it mm -hmm. in. But l much less frightening, Yeah, Alison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Thank you. Keep sending your crafty items Definitely. and uh, creations in. Love looking at them. Right, where are we up to? Okay, so I've done... <clears throat> I've done the little V. Mm -hmm. uh, on this one that was running down this side, I've just folded the end back. Okay. So you haven't pulled it off, you've nope. folded it back over. folded it back over. Mm -hmm. So it's given me this... Um... It's almost piped, like yes. a piping, because yeah. it's slightly proud. Lead. Yeah, it yes. is. So I'm going to let this bit continue to come down. Okay. Only a little way. And then I will fold that one back as well, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit further down. What's the reason for that? Is it so you don't end up with a big bump? Yeah, it is, and so that I can lay the um, uh, belt over the top. Ah. So can you see how I've just folded it back? Mm. It, this doesn't need to be um, this end bit doesn't need to be terribly tidy because we're going to lay the belt over the top, mm. like so. Here we go. So you can get the idea. It's okay. really taking shape now, isn't it? So we're going to lay that over the top. And this is where you could do with an extra hand. So lay it over the top. Do you want a hand? Just, no, I've got it, actually. If you... if you, Because there's only going to be you at home, isn't there? So you've got Don't it. have to remind me. You need to come and help me hold there's my... There's only going to be me. Yeah. So... If you hold it in between your fingers like that, yeah. around around the back, I'm just going to tidy and that little that bit in. Poking that in there, yeah. Yeah, just put that in. And then attach this down exactly the same as we did with the V. Now, for speed, you could probably get away with doing a little bit with your multi-tool. But don't overdo it's it. slightly wider. Mm. But you might just want to tease some of those, just the edges in to make a nice tidy shape. You can also, if you wanted to... Um, get a tiny little bit of a contrasting colour if you wanted to give it a... a oh, a, wow. Do you know That really makes a big difference yeah. in natural fats. I think that really sets it off. Okay, let's do that then. Let's do it. Let's do that. It's easy for me to say because Alison's doing all the work. Yeah. Okay. It does actually, yeah. I'm like just that. in charge of creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. So. Wow. I really like that. Just adds a little bit. And again, you know, uniforms or that sort of thing. Well, we said on the last show about um, creating a collection that was sort of national dress from around the world. You mm -hmm. could do, couldn't you? Yeah, Loads well, of I options. Like that idea. Yeah, might have to do some of those. And that sounds good. Yeah, get some of those on the go. My son's in the RAF, so I might do. Oh, that. you can do an RAF one. An RAF That'd be one. smart. Yeah. Yeah. RAF um, colours. Yeah. We want to see what you're doing as well. Don't forget to send in yeah, your okay. items as well. In actual fact, just while you're doing it, it's a good time to point out actually that we had so so much success with Cyril the Sheep, which was the first demo that Alison did for us here on the craft show, um, that uh, she's had some inquiries for various sorts of uh, other... other um, uh, instructions, kits, kit, yeah. kits. Yeah. So she's put together a couple of kits. Look, she's got a Robin. Like the robin, yeah. Um, and what she's done is she's packaged it up. 
We don't sell things here on the craft show. I just wanted to show this because we came in and she said, oh look, I've had, to, I've had some inquiries. So I've packaged some of these things. So on her website, she's got, look, she's put these together. You can make these of your own bits, but to save you, you a bit of time, she's done some instructions, look. Mm -hmm. She's been busy, haven't you? I have, yeah, always. And um, she's got a little foam block, look, with the needle needles in. Yeah. That's it. And these are these are nice and comfortable to hold. These ones, they are, super yeah, duper. Those and, a bit of... and then she sends them in like a little kit, ready to go. Yeah. Do you know what, that? I'll tell you what though, if you're a needle felter at home and you can make these at home, wouldn't that be a nice little gift? Yeah, definitely. To give to somebody that's not done it before, because it's got the instructions and all of this. Yeah. Have a look on the website. Ready, ready to go. You see that? And she's got um, she's got Robin. Yeah. And you do one Robin's. for these. You can yeah. do one for these, couldn't you? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah, I will, oh, definitely. that's good. Have a look. Have a look. Okay. Oh, look, this is Cyril's bigger yeah. cousin. Uh, Cedric. Cedric. Cyril. Steve, he can't be Cyril. We've already got we've, Cyril. We've He's got a this. clone. <laughs> He's a clone. <laughs> what was that clone? Dolly. Dolly, yes. Dolly. Dolly the sheep, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I digress. We're yeah. getting away from it. I know. Which happens. Which happens. Okay, so I'm not going to continue going on and on. Uh, um, you can make this much tidier and firmer. Mm -hmm. um, I will show you next how to put her dress on, okay. uh, her coat, um, and then I'll show you how to do the sleeves of her coat and her little hands. It's amazing really how quickly you're able to, I'm, I mean we're, we're doing this super quickly, mm -hmm. you wouldn't normally do it as quickly as we're doing it over the two shows, but over two shows we're going to make this super quickly, we yeah. blue petered it a little bit, yeah. but you know half a day? If yeah. you were doing it yeah. non-stop, yeah, I would say yeah, a good a day. casual day. Yes, a casual day. A casual day. With yes. Episode of the craft show in. Yeah. Crafty brew. Some tea. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely cups of tea. Um. So obviously we haven't covered the back. There's loads of um bits of excess here. Yes. You can take some of these bits of excess off. Yeah. Uh, if they're getting in your way, it doesn't really matter because they're going to be covered up. What you will need to remember, though, is when you go to cover up, you might need to put a couple of layers on. Okay. Because it might show through. Yeah. So we're going to uh, put her, her little jacket on. Um, take a, a, a strip of your whatever it is you choose. It doesn't matter. You can mm -hmm. use anything. Because it's like a blended one. There's a pre-blended one that you've bought. Yeah. This These are... Uh, I've got the, lots of these different coloured ones on the website. Mm -hmm. There are loads of different colours. Have a look. Or you can just use anything you've got. doesn't matter. And you were showing anything. us, I think, on the last show how to do a bit of blending as well, just pulling it. Yeah. Have just, a look at the last show. Yeah, you can blend some yourself make as well. It any any colour you like. Yeah. So I've just folded this bit in half. Yeah. Um, so I've got a, a fairly tidy edge. And I'm going to put that up sort of under her under her head. Roughly where... Like that, mm -hmm. and then just attach that little bit in. Ireland, like so. Ireland from around that we just saw it seeing the green. My brain's still going. <laughs> can you hear it? Yeah. I can. Ireland with the green. Yeah. I'm trying to think where else. Well, anywhere really. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anywhere that's got really traditional. Yeah. Dress. Brazil. We've got a football fan in the studio <laughs> shouting out Brazil. I'm sure Brazil, Brazil is very not. I've never been to Brazil. Have you been to Brazil? No. You, they, actually, they are sort of Brazilian colours. Is that why you were shouting yeah. out? Yeah. Oh. Don't do football. No, me neither. Too busy felting, aren't you? Yeah. Do you like a bit of rugby, though? <laughs> oh, yes, we like a bit of rugby. rugby. Yeah. We like a bit of rugby. Yeah. So, um, I've laid this down again. You can customise this however you want, mm. uh, like we said with doing another. I, I just like to take, uh, bring it forward a little bit. Obviously, you're going to want to look at, uh, at where you've got it. Mm. And if you need to bring it a bit f forward a little further, because yeah. it's too far back, just add another strip. Down it reminds edge. me of a, a cardi my gran used to wear at the minute. <laughs> Does it? The, and do you know what? In fact, change the colour of the hair, grey. Yeah. 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 I have done ones with grey hair. Do a, I've done ones with do pink a hair. Do granny. Yeah, definitely. Little wire glasses. Yeah. Yeah. So I like to take this um, underneath as well. So as you can oh, see okay. here, I've taken it right underneath. Just makes it nice and tidy and finishes it off nicely. So it goes all the way under. Yes. So, so if somebody done, picks it up, you can... Yeah, exactly. You know. mm. 
and you can do that. So I'll just attach this down and then I can show you how to do her hands. Well, while you're doing that, because, you know, it's a bit repetitive now. It is. You get the idea. Yep, you do. And I don't know about you, mm. I could do with a cup of tea. And a biscuit. And a biscuit. Some chocolate. Steve, get the kettle on! It's not going to happen. No. It looks like I'm going to be doing it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll get the kettle on. You enjoy the craft show quickie. talking about some of the products that I use to make my little creation. I'm going to do a uh, quick video on how to make a chibi mermaid. I'm only going to do the fin just to kind of give you an idea of what I do. made most of the mermaid just to kind of give you an idea of how I made it. I went on and I took the pen and I put the female flesh on it and cut out small little triangles so that the two can fit like this. I took the serenade and I put it through the pasta maker so that it could be flat enough to make the fins and I used a toothpick just to make some of the lines and the fins like this and then I just made another one and I put them at the end of the tail and of course I used Pearl Axe and I used this brush to put a little glitter on here so after it bakes uh, the translucent stands out a lot more and I also used these little micro beads. I got them from eBay. You can get them from anywhere. You can also get them on Etsy as well on Amazon. All right, so that's just kind of a mini demo. I'll go more into details in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the rest of the products that I use to make my little creations. Welcome to my little shop station. I'm gonna go over the products and the tools that I use to make my little creations. So as you can see here, I have my dotting tools, which can also be used for nails, and my rubber tips to help sculpt my creation. I also use Serenit and Fimo Clay and Primo. They are the only uh, clay that I use at the moment, but I am open to anything. Most of the time when I make my creations, they're inspired by other artists, or I may see a movie or a show, and I'll just go ahead and make it. Now, for here, I have some pastels for the blush or to add a little bit more color to whatever it is that I'm making. Now, the glitter, it's like my utmost favorite to use. I do get some of my products from Sparkly Treasure, which you can find on Etsy. I love their products, amazing. I also get my products from um, unique nail creations and these are little bats look how cute they are and I have the multicolor ones as well for when Halloween comes and these are from some other companies as well I don't shop from just one company I get a little bit of taste from everybody um, I got these from eBay as well as these glitters there's no such thing as too much glitter. Now, I also really like using these pastels. They are the Pearl X. I don't really have a favorite color. They are all beautiful, but I went on and did a demo just to give you an idea of what it looks like. But look, look at this. Oh my God. It's so pretty. As you can see, I use quartz to make my little fairy and you can see the translucent clay that I used and some of the glitter went a little heavy on it but it's okay it's still cute and of course you can't do anything without your pasta maker which I have right here so thank you very much and I look forward to making more videos for you guys <laughs> Hello, yep. and um, what do you think you're doing?
bleeding cheek. Welcome back to the craft show. <laughs> hey, shift it, you. Thank you. That's his brew as well. Look, I've been out making the crafty brew. Not Steve. Not a bad cuppa. Yeah, not bad. Thanks, Ben. Actually, I think I'll stick to making it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no offence. No offence. I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it. God, blimey. Isn't it all right, eh? Hey? Hey? He'd be taken over before <laughs> long. <laughs> hey? I haven't got mine now. Where's mine? Hang on. There we go. That's better. Normal service has been resumed. <laughs> Back to normal. You nip out for two minutes. I know. Hey? Oh dear. Anyway, how oh are we dear. getting on now I'm back? We're getting on okay. Okay, right, where are we up to? Right, I'm just going to quickly attach the other side of her coat. Um, not that it's ridiculously important for me to do that at this point for you to see because it's the same as the other side. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly tack that down so that you get an idea of what it will look like. Because obviously we've got Which a bit of a time restraint here. You've got loads of time to be yeah. doing this up. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit presumptuous of me. You might not have loads of time, but you get my point. We've only got the two shows. I've just taken a little bit of excess off there because we're gonna um, we're gonna smooth this underneath just to make it look nice and tidy. Okay. All round, and then I'm gonna just Find overlap that. that bit over the top of that. You don't want a saggy bottom. No, you don't want a saggy bottom. Definitely not. And it's like we said um, when we were first building uh, the base out of the core wall. Um, it's important to get that base yeah. nice and firm because, as you can imagine, that add it, trying to add this top layer, top colour, and the belt and all the rest of it onto something that's not firm enough. Yes. It would just collapse in. It wouldn't it wouldn't hold its shape nicely. Yeah. And you would struggle to get these nice straight lines. So that's really critical. Make sure that the shapes are really solid. It really is. And For it, something like if this. If you've got to put extra layers on it, put extra layers on it. But really build it up so just it's, keep it's solid. Just stabbing and, and it will just firm up. It will just continue to firm up to the point where it is, you know, really quite solid. Yeah. Um, and then you'll when, once you start to put your top layer on, um, you've got something nice and firm to work on to. Otherwise, it's just going to make life really difficult for you. And also, once you've started putting the, the coat on, the cardi, mm -hmm. or whatever we want to call it, yeah. you can change up then to the multi-needle. Yes. Because it doesn't matter too much that you're flattening it down no. and it's spreading out. No, you and really also, you can, you, can, you can alter the... You can sort of adjust the shape of her. See, I've looked at that and... This, this side it was a little bit further round than that side. Yeah. Now I can either do one or two things. I can add a little bit more this side. Yeah. But I'm just going to pull that side back a little bit because it's not really firmly attached yet. Okay. Just smooth that down and just attach that back down again. And I still think I need a little bit more this side. So I can do the same this okay. side and just add a little bit more down and bring it a bit further forward just until I'm happy with where it all is. And you're in control. Yeah, absolutely. I so, like it. So once it's I'm really happy coming with on, isn't it? where it is. Okay, I'm not gonna continue doing all that because you get the gist. I want to show you how to do the sleeves for her. I, I will just attach this sleeve on loosely yes. because I want to finish this off nicely and make yes. sure it's all straight before I put it all together properly. Yeah. Cuz don't forget we if you're lucky you're going to get Yeah, yeah. Give me. Yeah, you will. Yeah. So, the sleeve um is a, a strip of this colored the coloured wool that we are using to make her coat out of. To so the matching one to the cardi. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cardigan. Again, you could make different coloured sleeves if you wanted oh. to. Um, that's up to you. Is Cardigan a brand name? Cardigan, or is it from? It's from Cardigan, isn't it? Yeah. Is that in Wales? Yeah, yeah. Is it Cardigan is. in I Wales? I don't know if it's a brand name though. If it's made in Wales, I don't yeah. know. If you if you're from Wales, yeah, let us know. Put it down in the comments. Yeah. You muppet! It's not a brand name. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just flattened this out a bit. Um, now we did. We talked about this with Cyril the sheep. Mm. How when we make Cyril's ears, yes, we made sure that we took our, our strip of wool that was enough to do two ears with. Yes, and we so split that they were the same half, size. So they were the same. Talking of Cyril, 
we did we were going to call I can't remember we were going to call her Dolly after the yeah. after the, the cloned, cloned one but we thought yeah. we don't know about copyright and stuff do we yeah better play it safe so Shirley Shirley yeah Cyril's auntie yeah older sister auntie older sister <laughs> yeah <laughs> bigger sister so I've got a strip here I'm just going to fold it in half yeah break it in half um, and then you know you've got two even sized pieces yeah. so they're they're all, they're not quite are they look they're a little bit out mm. they are now we didn't see that <laughs> <laughs> so they are now so i'm going to fold this in half again okay uh again same with cyril's ears mm -hmm. this will be the the bottom part of her sleeve yeah and this will be the top part the nice fluffy fringe bit um to attach uh, okay. Top. Yeah, yeah. So you need a nice fringy bit yeah. to um, uh, attach it on, so you okay. don't see the join. Um, so we're going to uh, give this a stab with with the with the multi needle. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the multi because we've got the multi needle with three needles, haven't we? This is the five needle multi needle. Yeah. I think they call it a punch tool. Punch tool. That's right. I remember you're right. It's sort of punching away. Yes, and it flattens it down a bit as well, doesn't it? Does. It does. Um, you can uh, just gently sort of tease the edges out and fold those over to make a nice tidy edge. Both sides. Now, this is going to be quite a bit too long. Mm hmm. Yes. So, the way to get around that is to um, keep stabbing. If you stab at a bit of an angle, because we're tangling the fibres together, this will push it shorter. So oh, shorten right. the length. So I thought that would lengthen it. <clears throat> no. But it doesn't, it actually. It does, because um, if you think, when, we, when you're stabbing with, with the needle, you're pushing the fibres in together mm -hmm. and, and it's shrinking it. Mm. Um, so whichever way you stab will be the way that it shrinks. Okay. It's difficult for me to so explain. So if you stab towards the centre, it yes. pulls it towards the centre. It does, yes. Okay. So you can you can stab things at any angle, mm -hmm. so long as, like we said before, you keep your needle straight. So if I stab in at the side there, it'll make it narrower. narrower. Oh, right. If I stab this way, it's pushing the Because you're compacting it, aren't you? Yeah. You're compacting it. But together. rather than just flattening it out... Yes. I'm, I'm pushing them that way. Yes. So if you push them that way, I mean, look, look if I fold that over and stab that like that, you yeah. can see how it's it's sort of pulling them in. Yes. So depending on how you stab and how how you how you oh, I've lost me oh here it is. Yeah. It's just a punch tool. <laughs> so continue with this. Just keep going. Peel it off and move it about so that it doesn't attach to the surface, and keep it going. Have you ever had that happen? You know, you've been working on something and, put, and then you've gone to take it off and it's attached. It's completely attached, yeah. <laughs> on more than one occasion, yeah. Why can't we see that? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good for the outtake. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. While you're doing that, because we cover all sorts of crafts here, of course, on the craft show, we've had stained glass on here, we've had mm -hmm. needle felting, we've had all sorts of stuff. Got more to come as well. We encourage you to send us pictures of your crafts and I've got a picture here from Katie Carter. Hi, Katie. She's posted this on our Facebook page. And it is uh, Rendale cross stitches, which she has framed. Um, and you can have a look on the Facebook page to see those. Aren't they nice? Okay, so do you know what? We're rapidly running out of time. Yeah. We've only got about 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, I think, now. I'm going to push so, on because I want to. Please make do. Sure I'm going to button it. You get cracking. Okay, so her little hands. Um, are made and then uh, attached um, before you put the sleeve on. So again, um, get yourself a little bit of fiber. It, it would be best for you to get two amounts the same, obviously because you've got two hands. So roughly try and get two amounts the same. Um, fold it in half. So you've got um, your fringy bit again. Give this a bit of a stab. Now this is really just a case of sort of folding and, and rolling up. So 
I've just given that a little bit of a stab then I'm just going to sort of fold this up can you see how mm -hmm. I'm just folding it up and then you can sort of tuck those sides in hold it mind your finger because this is a real finger stabber this bit and then we're just going to work this this little bit here that we've got until we've got a little mitten shape there's a good description mitten mm. it's taken shape already yeah so like that i don't want to labor over these points because i really want to get to show you all of it but you were you can see what i mean so we're just going to just folded it up folded the edges in and keep stabbing with you with your needles until you've got a little little mitt shape which will go on to the side of her coat just attach those few fringy hairs in again you can peel this extra uh, these, pull these excess bits off if you don't want them there mm -hmm. and then her sleeve will go over the top of her hand I uh, see and then up to her her collar again if this is much too long you can just get you can pull these bits off and if you if you've sort of attached it to and realised that that's much too long, it needs to be quite a bit shorter. I just use like a little pair of nail scissors and just tease this top part mm -hmm. apart and then you'll be able to pull that excess oh, off. Oh, I see, yeah. So just loosen up those fibres that you felted down, <clears throat> pull those excess bits off and then that will go over her hand, up to her collar, neck, if you like and then attach that on and then attach around the edge so push her the little bits of extra fluff in where her hand is under her sleeve and just attach all the way round that sleeve down one side and down the other look at that that's really taking like shape so. now really taking shape so we won't look at the back so what really intrigues me is the <coughs> hair. Okay. Because we've done faces on things before. We'll try and get that, that in, but that's fairly straightforward to do the face. It's the hair I'm intrigued by, because you've got a little bun at the back. Yeah. So I've well. got a strip of black roving, so okay. the black one. Uh, that's probably going to be a bit longer than we need. So just take a bit off. I'm going to just take that end off because it's a little bit untidy. And then I'm going to split this into two. So I have two it doesn't matter if they're not entirely equal mm -hmm. um, on this one um, I'm going to have to try and do it back to front which is a bit <laughs> confusing to me so I want to lay this over so that this one end uh, it just comes down to sort of the bottom of her head with a little bit of excess and lay it over like so so that it comes in a in a uh, across across her head mm -hmm. in diagonal and then attach that on to there and then the other piece we're going to lay in the opposite direction i see like so okay so it's crisscrossed over her head Can you see? I like can that? see that, yeah. And then we're going to, the same as we did with her coat jacket, uh, her uh, the sides of her jacket, sorry, we're going to sort of draw our needle down and attach this to her head, like so. Okay. Oh, I see. That's actually more straightforward <coughs> than I thought it was going to be. Fluff out these bits at the back so that you can cover any bits uh, um, any bits if you've got a, a little bit of a gap you can just put a little bit of, of extra wool in there um, to cover it up mm. but I'm just going to do this very quickly for um, the sakes of getting this on so I can show you how to do her little bun so I'm just stabbing this on really really quickly mm. I could do with a bit of technique like that yeah <laughs> bit of rerouting so then these these um, long bits that we put over the top yeah so these the, the short bits we've attached sort of at the back of her head mm -hmm. these long bits which were the extra bits that have uh, that have 
come over the top and down the front we're going to pull round to the back pull them together we've got a bit of groovy music in the background yeah and somebody sitting outside in their car much like you're doing a, 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 a bun it. on your own hair yeah twist them round ah and then twist that round you you will have attached it better than me so this yes. will all be smooth but twist it round and then twist it round itself like excellent so. so we show that against the one that you've done and then just stab the end in the free end and you can see once you've done it tidier you you can see but you what can I see mean, though. can't you you can see what you've done there imagine that that's that's actually much more straightforward. I know that you've done that super fast, yeah. super fast um, because of the time restriction that we've got. But you can really see how straightforward that is to do. If I've got a couple of minutes, I'll just show you how to do her eyes. Okay. So her eyes are... A, yeah, you've a, got a couple of minutes, you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay for a couple of minutes. Okay, a, a, a few hairs of black fibre. Not very much at all. Quite literally, a tiny little bit like that. We're going to fold that in half so that we've got a nice sharp side mm -hmm. and then this fluffy end here. I'm going to try do my best to try and um, hold this where you can see it. I'm going to hold the corner of that bit on with my finger and then with my needle I'm going to attach that on, dragging those little oh, ends yeah. in just to tighten it up yeah and then when I've got the shape that I want I'm trying to look at the other one to see see what her hers looks like I've got it like that can you see and then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to snip right close to the end of where that was where that one is and that will give me those sort of little eyelash effects so that's like a little yeah when that's when that's better attached you'll see what i mean fantastic and then her little mouth is again just a few fibers and you can make uh, any sort of shape you want but if you want to just um i just like to lay it across so that there's a bit either side no, all right, we know. <laughs> Boop, beeping their horns out there now. It can be now. quite noisy out here sometimes. It can, can't it? They're an impatient lot, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Huh? They want to do some crafting, don't they? Really? They want to do some crafting. They want to be doing some crafting. It's very good for you. So, the because we've only got literally 30 seconds left. So, you start off, you lay it across, you put it in where you need to, and then you fold the bits in, tidy yeah, it up, I'm just and snip I'm off just, the excess. Well, her mouth, you can just, because there are quite literally a few hairs, I'm just going to pull these in. If you've got a lot of excess, which I have there, I've got quite a bit, snip a bit just off. snip a little bit of that off and then just continue to attach that little bit. Well, while you're just got... finishing that off, I think because we've got to wrap it up now, yeah. I just want to remind you, if you want your chance to win Kim, the Japanese doll, please remember to share the Facebook page and we will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much, Alison. You're welcome. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Folks. See you again.